Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Jacqueline Shoney reveals ideal date after talking with Susan Knowles. Undeniably, Bachelor Nation has been playing matchmaker with contestants from Jerry Turner and Joan Vasso's pools of contestants. Golden Bachelorette Jacqueline Shoney is working his magic to get together with Golden Bachelor Susan Knowles. He discusses the ideal date. Jacqueline Shoney made a big impression. Although it didn't work out for Joan Vasso's and Jacqueline Shoney to go to the end together, Jack is a clear fan favorite. Almost immediately after introducing Jack to Bachelor Nation, fans saw a perfect match for him with the Golden Bachelor star, Susan Knowles. During an interview with Ryan Field and Jen Matarese on Playing the Field, Jack Lynchoni admits he would love to go on Golden Bachelor in Paradise or even be the bartender to crack jokes. Likewise, he shared he had a great time going through the Bachelor Nation experience. He made good friends especially Don Romer and Gray Glasson. Additionally, he says that Joan is a real class act. Although he didn't get the girl during his mansion stay, fans have helped him connect with Susan. He is playing the field after the Golden Bachelorette. However, during the playing the field, Jack Lanchoni also says he is talking to Susan Knowles. Jen Matteris asks if any of the Golden Bachelor women have piqued his interest. Undeniably, Many Bachelor Nation fans think Jack and Susan would be a match made in heaven, Jack says. We've been talking on the phone, actually. I talked to her this morning. Ryan Field asks for clarification. Who's that? Susan. When he confirms, Jen screams, Yes. Both Ryan and Jen immediately cheered when Jack revealed they were working on putting together a date. Although their schedules are a little screwed up, they are getting the details together. Likewise, Ryan and Jen mentioned that Kathy Swartz wants Jack to hook her up with his good friend and Golden Bachelorette buddy, Greg Lassen. Admittedly, he had just gotten off the phone with Greg as well. They were discussing his home in Florida being threatened by the hurricanes. Undoubtedly, Jack thinks a double date would be a great time for all of them to get together. Jack Lynchoni reveals ideal date after talking with Susan Knowles. After Jen Matteris clarifies, wait, so are you guys going to go on a date, for real? Jack Lynchoni confirms it is in the works. Furthermore, discussing Jack's plans to date Susan Knowles, he gave details about his ideal date with her. Ryan and Jen mentioned that paparazzi might be around, so they probably will need to keep it on the down low. When they asked about his plans, he said, I think it'll be a beautiful idea. And maybe we get a beautiful restaurant, a little wine, a little dinner, maybe a little dancing. It'll be all good. Although he made a big splash with his pink sports coat, he thinks he will leave it at home to be more low-key. But Jen suggests a salmon-colored shirt could be a good alternative. And Ryan knows that Susan is a sports fan, so she would be okay if Jack wears his Dick Buckus jersey. Although all the details aren't set in concrete, it seems to be progressing well. But Jack says he has many women sliding into his DMs. Undeniably, he did this journey his way. Jack Lynchoni had always been a man of mystery on the Golden Bachelorette. From the moment he stepped out of that limousine, wearing a confident grin and sharp suit, he caught everyone's attention. But it was Susan Knowles who truly piqued his interest. Susan, with her warm southern charm and adventurous spirit, had captured the hearts of many, including Jack's. Their conversations flowed naturally, and it wasn't long before sparks started flying. After weeks of getting to know each other, Jack found himself in deep thought. What would his ideal date with Susan look like? Sure, he'd been on plenty of dates before, but this one had to be special. Something that went beyond the typical dinners and sunsets. It had to reflect their chemistry, their shared passions, and their desire for real connection. It was during one of their late-night talks by the fire pit, where the crackling wood and the scent of pine created the perfect backdrop, that Jack revealed his dream date to Susan. She had just mentioned how much she missed the simple joys of life, feeling the wind in her hair, the thrill of trying something new, 
and the peace of sharing a quiet moment with someone special. Jack leaned in slightly, his voice soft but filled with excitement. Susan, if I could take you on any date, I think I've got something perfect in mind. Susan's eyes sparkled with curiosity as she tilted her head, encouraging him to go on. Well, he began, smiling at the thought, I'd start by picking you up early, just as the sun is rising. I know you love those golden hours of the morning, so I'd have a little surprise ready, a hot air balloon ride. Susan gasped softly, her hand instinctively going to her heart. A hot air balloon. Jack, you've got to be kidding me. I've always wanted to do that. Jack chuckled, pleased that his idea had struck a chord. I thought you might. We'd soar above the hills and valleys, watching the world wake up below us. Just the two of us, floating in the sky, with nothing but the horizon stretching out for miles. He could already see Susan's mind drifting to the image, her face lighting up with the possibility. I can imagine it now, she said softly. That quiet, peaceful moment, just us. I'd love that. Jack nodded, his voice steady as he continued to describe the date that had been forming in his mind. After we touched down, I'd have a little breakfast picnic set up, something simple but elegant. Fresh fruit, croissants, maybe even some mimosas. We'd sit by a small lake, somewhere out in nature, where we could just talk and enjoy the moment. I love that idea, Susan whispered. It sounds perfect. But Jack wasn't done yet. Then, he said, his voice growing a bit more animated, for the fun part. How about a little adventure? I know you've got a wild side, and I was thinking we could try something neither of us has done before. What do you say to paddleboarding? Susan laughed, throwing her head back. Paddleboarding? You think I could stay upright for more than five seconds? Jack grinned, his eyes twinkling. That's part of the fun. We get a little wet, a little wild. But most of all, we'd be laughing the entire time. And if we fall in, who cares? It's about enjoying the moment, right? I love that, Susan said, her smile wide and genuine. It's different, and it sounds like so much fun. Jack leaned back slightly, feeling more at ease as he continued. After that, we dry off, maybe grab a quick change of clothes, and I'd take you to a little art gallery I know. It's quiet, intimate, and the pieces there are all about love and connection. I think you'd appreciate it. We could walk through, hand in hand, talking about the pieces and what they mean to us. Susan's expression softened, and she reached out to touch Jack's arm. That's beautiful. You know how much I love art, especially when it tells a story. Jack smiled at her touch, his voice turning even more thoughtful. And to end the day, we go to this little rooftop restaurant I've heard about. It's cozy, with candles on every table and a view of the city skyline. We have a quiet dinner, sharing a bottle of wine, and just talk about everything, our lives, our hopes, and what we want for the future. There was a pause as Susan let his words sink in. She could picture the entire day unfolding, from the excitement of the balloon ride to the laughter on the paddleboards, to the quiet, intimate moments they would share in the art gallery and over dinner. It was more than just a date. It was a journey one that reflected who they were as individuals and who they were becoming together. That sounds like the perfect date, Jack, Susan said softly, her voice filled with warmth. You've really thought about this, haven't you? Jack nodded, a hint of vulnerability in his eyes. I have. Because, Susan, I think you're worth every bit of it. You make me want to experience life in new ways, and I want to create memories with you.